Today, I would like to introduce our video processor to you. Uh, everybody, can you turn off your video, please? So just make the webinar clear to you. Please turn off your voice and uh, hide the non-video participants. Okay, please. Otherwise, maybe disturb it so you will see other voice on the other videos. So here, just turn off the non-video participants. Okay, hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, guys, I have to stop your voice and uh, your videos and make the PPT clear, okay? Okay. Thank you for cooperation. Okay, now we start. <clears throat> uh, so now I start to introduce our video processors. So after the presentation, if you have any question or during the presentation, you can text your question in the group. Our colleagues will follow you up and uh, also you can raise your hand. So we will see your problem and your questions, okay? The first video processors. Now we have LED W4000 salaries, LED W2000 salaries. And also Mac F4 salaries. And the LED 760, 750, 550D, and the 500C, 500D service. There are different loading capacities. For example, for 2K, we have uh, 550D and 500C and 500D. Also for four four K, four K one K, we have a seven fifty salaries. And for four K by two K, we have W four thousand W two thousand seven eighty and seven sixty. Also, the mosaic box F4. And for one bigger processors, we have W4000, which supports 8K by 2K loading capacity. Now, first, I introduce the, some information of 550D.
Here is the extended mode. So you can choose HDI, USB, VGA, DVI, or RS-232 for the protocol communication. For the standard inputs, we have VGA, two VGA, and uh, two AV. One DVI, one HDMI, also one DP. And here is the LAN cable you can connect to the software. And this DVI loop, if you have multiple 550DS for mosaic, so you can use this DVI loop to loop the DVI from the first piece to the next one, or third one, so you use them for mosaic, and uh, no problem for the synchronization. And here is the output. You see, uh, we have one DVI, two DVI, and one VJ. Two DVI can go back up. Each of them can be customized in the output resolution within 2K. Also, VGA you can connect to a monitor for preview or for monitoring. And here we have two text cards. So you can, uh, you can install two small sending card here. And for the function, we have fade in, fade out. It's seamless. Also we can customize just we, I told it, uh, like the input output resolution and also multiple cascade. Seamless switching, we can do 20 effects, different effects. Also, one more important function is that we can use the input signal hot backup. So, for example, we have two inputs, uh, one DVI and one DP or one HDMI. So we can set up DVI as the input and set up the HDMI as a backup. Once the HDMI is connected, we can use the HDMI as input signal backup. It will switch automatically. This is very important to the, some events. Here's some project we did before. This is uh, one project of Cadillac. We used about 29 pieces. So we use this one oh, output okay, to the next one, and uh, I mean input loop, and uh, another one loop loop. So make the mistake. And here is a smaller one. Loading capacity is same. Function is simple. You see here, it's also 2K. Here's the input. That's all, here's the key. Also, here's the input. One TBI, one HDMI, two VJ, two AV. Also here, extend mode. And then this extended mode, you can choose SDI, VGA, or DVI. And for the output, same. One DVI, two DVI for backup. Also one VGA, you can connect to the monitor for monitoring. Also we have two slots for the sending card, like MSD, 300, you can have two pieces here. And this function compared to the 550, this one cannot do EDID and uh, customize the output resolution, but this one can do multiple mosaic.
also can do seamless switching and uh, input signal hot backup. This function is the same as the FPDDS. Mostly this one used for the fixed installation because it's much much lower budget. Also this one also. This is the very very basic one. And the one AV input PBI, HDMI one VGA for the inputs. For the outputs, we have two DVI. They are both backup. And uh, this one can now customize the output resolution. Also, same, you can have two sending cards here. For example, MSD 300. This is the very, very basic one. And, uh, just for some small project, fixed installation project is very really good with cheap price and very uh, really stable. Here you can see the front panel and the rear panel. Now let me introduce the Valley Valley wholesale processor, LED 780 series. See this front panel looks very nice. And here is the inputs. Basically we, with the standard inputs, we have two DVI, two HDMI, one SDI, one DP. And uh, these are 2K. This one, um, okay, looks a different. And here we can choose the extended mode. For 2K inputs, we can choose two DVI, two VJ, two SDI, two USB media player. Or you can combine any of two, any two of them. Or 4K inputs, we can choose DP 1.1, HDMI 1.4 as input. Okay, here's the output. We have two group of four output. You can see here, uh, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, 4A, 4B. They are full backup. Or if you use the small sending card, for example, MSD 300 series, you can use A and B and uh, combine them as one output to Full HD. Or you can use, when you connect to the 2K sending card, you can use A and B for backup. Each one output resolution is 2K. Also this one DP, you can for, use it for loop. Use any, uh, choose any input signal from the inputs. any input from here and uh, use this one as a loop to next one. So when you have many pieces, for example, two pieces, you can do a two piece mosaic. So you can do this mosaic, two piece. Also we have gen lock here, gen lock in. So for some special case, you will need gen lock, we can have here. Also, RS2, RS232, uh, RS232, you can connect to the uh, something like uh, controller, middle controller, and the uh, USB for backup, uh, for upgrade. Yeah, 
Here is the front panel, rear panel. So for mosaic, you can have different type. This one for vertical, horizontal, crossing. This is quick mosaic use. For example, like this, one panel here, just chose four output, four layer, just chose the same signal, so it will be a mosaic in one. And also you can choose four independent output, four layers, choose four different input signal, so it will have four layers. Four different, one, two, three, four. From here, from input, different input. Also, we can use another mode. For example, uh, we use layer one, layer two as a mosaic. So this one chosen the same signal here. And uh, layer three, Layer four, we can choose separate input signal. Just up to you, uh, depends on the project. One more important thing, the big advantage of 780 is that very low, very, very low latency, just one frame. So during the event or some conference, you will see if it's too much delay, you will see there, maybe the speaker sound is heard, but the speaker didn't open his mouth on the screen. So this is very important. Here we test the latency. Just in the time, it's within one frame. Sixty millimeters, milliseconds. Sorry. Also, EDID and customize. So, with this function, we can do pixel to pixel display for all the events. So, here, customize can be the output resolution can be customized, input can be customized. Of course, this one, except for SDI, because it's without any graphic card. So, use this function, we can, if you have a big screen, we can do like this, and a smaller, we can also do this to fit the size of the screen. Also, sometimes, uh, maybe you have a screen like this. You can also use the customized resolution to do this. So you don't need to have two piece, two, two piece sending cards or two output cards. So here we can do two piece cascade. We just connect two piece by the line cable and use this one to control. So this one, the resolution can be oh, much more than this. Double, another one. So use two piece, you can do big screen. So here one piece, connect this screen, four piece, each out connect one screen. 
gives him an outstanding card. Here also. And use these two piece, cascade. And use this one, output to here. And this one can do loop to this one. For example, we have a DP input signal here, so we output to first piece. And then we use the DP loop to the second piece. So the first one connect to this part, and the second one for panel connect to this piece. And the here, second. Then we use this one as a controller to switching signals and different signal and uh, different preset. If I am speak talk too much, sorry. If I talk too much fast, just uh, text in the group so we can slower, slower. Just let me know. Maybe I'm too fast. Okay. This one also the cascade with media server. So we can have two DP output from the media server, one to this one, first one, LED 780. This one to the second one, also same. DVI one, output to the first. DVI two, DVI three, DVI four, and also same here, second piece. So we use the mosaic function of video server, and then we go to the big screen. Media server as control or input signal, and uh, Two P seven eighty connect to the screen for mosaic. Also, we can use some other switches. For example, our V eight we have uh, eight program output, so we can use eight program each one connect to the screen also. So we can also do like this with this screen. Also, we have another function of switcher mode. We can do one panel to three panel, so 2K to 2K switching. In this way, we can totally have four layers. If you use one here, so you can have four and um, three layers on the program. If you have, also we can do uh, two layers here. On the program, also preview, we can have two layers, totally four layers. Hello, hello. And we use the tick buttons to do switching. And we can change the duration time to cut or three seconds. Uh, I will introduce the function operation later after these details, after this information. So you will be more clear for all the function. This is the uh, preview. If you, if we use the one panel this one would be the program. This one, this one would be the preview. This one is program, program, program. And then if also we can do 4K by 1K to 
for k by one k three g. So give you i one, give you i two would be the preview, and the three and the four would be the program output. So here we see. This is the preview, and here is the most first program. And uh, I have to explain that if we use 2K to 2K switching, this three output, I mean, three, two, four, uh, in default, they would display the same output, output as program. Also, we can set up, use the program, this one as a program and the DVI2, DVI3, DVI4 choose different input signal. They can separate, select separate signal here. Just use this one as a program and this one as a preview. Same as, same layers. I mean, three layers totally here and one layer here. Here is the 2K, 4, 4K to 4K switching. I will explain how to do 4K to 4K switching later by the operation on the on our processors. And here is another series. Let's say 783. The difference is this, we have one input signal here as extend mode. Also this here, we has a monitoring output. Here, this, this one you can connect to the software on PC. And this one connect to another monitor. This, this one software, you will see all the output signal. Same as here output on the screen. Just as a monitor function. Yeah, just like this. If you connect this DVI here, this one monitor, same as here on the big screen. And here, RJ45 connect to the software, same as here. Just need to, need to connect this RJ45 to the router and your PC to router and the one keep connect to here. Also, router. So you will see the output on the LED real time on the software or on the monitor. Another function is time task. Uh, we can load, save some preset and then start the time function when the time arrives. It will change to the next load preset uh, automatically. For example, you have 10 presets, and then five minutes later, you can you want to change to preset two, or five minutes later, you want to change to preset two, three. So you can set up the time task. After five minutes, next one, five minutes, next one. This one is very useful for some fixed installation project. So you don't need to go to the adjust the processors by yourself, just set up the time, time task. There's one of the project used for some more, some more. Shopping mall. For exhibition, what is the most popular mall exhibition in the Netherlands? Same to the And here's all the features we just told. Ah, 
one more function. We can do rotation output, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. And some more project did with 780. This is all for lunch. This is the LPL. After 780, we have uh, 760. Actually, it's uh, like a mini 780. So you see here, no general and no SDI with standard inputs. And then the in front panel is different. The piece not so big as the 780, but the output is same. And loading capacity is the same. Most function is the same. Only in the front panel, no SDI, no general. Also, you can choose the inputs, extended inputs here, VGA, DVI. Same, same as the 780. This one, no SDI, no gen lock. But the input signal, external input, we can choose the same. The output is same. Four groups, uh, two groups of four output, also DP loop. Uh, real 4K inputs, 780, this one has no, no real 4K. W4 source is necessarily high. This here 4K is 4K 30 hertz. In the next product, in the next product, uh, W4000, we have real 4K. Or W2000 also has we are okay. Um, we have LED seven fifty salaries. This one. The loading capacity is half. Half of 760. Same, no gen lock and no SDI here. And the output is two group of two DVI outputs. Also we have the RS232 and the USB for upgrade. Inputs, extended inputs, you can choose the same as in the 760. Standard inputs, same. Two DVI, two HDMI, one DP, same as the 760 and the for extend mode, we can choose also same as the 760. Lena, please explain how to use gen lock. Oh, <coughs> My engineer explained you how to use the gen lock.
Hello guys. Uh, for Janox, we are not for much for 780 tests. If we use Janox, normally we have for input source that have Janox. So we can literally input source uh, synchronize or do something. To use Janox, you need to make sure your input has Janox requirements. Okay. <coughs> Hello, hello, bro. Clear? Okay. If you clear, yes. just say good. <laughs> if clear, say good. Then I go on. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't let you speak because I have to continue. Now, can I show him the the switch menu? Okay。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。那個。
Okay, on the here USB, you can connect to the to PC. So you can control this by PC. And the Wi-Fi, you can use this as a hot port. And then you can use your mobile phone to search this <coughs> hot port and control it. This is the power. For the outputs, we can have DVI, four DVI, each one is 2K. And uh, also we can have four HDMI, same, you can choose. Price is also same. And the maximum horizontal width is 2,900. And the max vertical height is 2,160. Yeah, here is the HDMI output. The solution loading capacity is the same. For quick mosaic, we can use three type. One is vertical combined uh, mosaic, one is horizontal mosaic, one is two by two crossing mosaic. And one important, you can customize the mosaic output because we can customize four of the outputs to different resolution. For example, you can customize one of the outputs here, one of the output resolution, another one, for example, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Four output, four different resolution. So with this one, sometimes you can use just one of the F4 and go with a media player. For example, our R5. Just go to the event. Just use this one. It's very easy. Very smart. How to control it by PC, Windows, or just by Wi Fi with your mobile phone? iPhone or Android is okay, both okay. For the input, the DP can do 8K by 1K, 60 hertz. So you can just choose one input signal to come on here. Yes, I'm, I think I'm speaking English. Also, there are zoom. So you can choose, for example, the input signal here. Different, different input. Just one input. Have different content here, so we can use the layer zoom function to make it separate to each output. One, two, three, four. Here is one input. Make one input separate to four input outputs. Of course, you can use the same input video or input photo or something to four outputs, same. One, two, three, four, you can choose two, same. Display on four separate screen, but display the same input signal. Now I'm going to 
introduce our most advanced processor, W4000. This one supports real 4K. Here is the output area. So you can see we have two kind of, of outputs. One is DVI, four by two. Each one is 2K. On the A and B, use for backup, same as 780. Also, you can use A and B to combine the uh, two piece small sending card, like MSD 300. And uh, we also have another type of output, HDMI. This one is 4K by 2K, 60 Hertz. So when we use this A, uh, one, two, four mosaic, we can do 8K by 2K mosaic, 60 Hertz. Yeah, like this, each one. So totally, We can do this capacity. And here is the gen lock. This is this one. We also have a gen lock and the RS232 for protocol control, USB for upgrade, and the RJ45. We can con connect to our laptop for software control. See here on the inputs, one, two, four group, each one has three inputs. All of these inputs are 4K by 1K 30 Hertz inputs. Yes. 60. Oh, sorry, 60 Hertz. And uh, except this SDI, SDI is 2K, 3G. And the four the inputs, four, a uh, five and a six group. Each one has DP and HDMI inputs, which supports 4K by 2K 60 Hertz. Also, we have a HDMI loop. So when you have two piece, we can choose this, DVI, uh, this HDMI loop, loop any inputs from here to the next one for two piece multiple cascade. Mosaic, same. And the maximum width is this. And height is this one. Okay, just this is the input output. Yes, HDMI loop also HDMI 2.0. Yeah, same. So here you see the inputs outputs all here. To group, extend, and the standard five inputs. See, as you hear, each one we have three inputs in one, two, four groups. Each, each time, you can choose any of the inputs from three of them. Same, totally, four. Yes. For input one, DVI, DP, or SDI, we should choose one of them. We have three op options, but this time you can choose one of them, any of them. For example, input one group, you can choose any of them, just use one input.
Then for okay, is here. Group four, uh, group five, group six. It's HDMI two point zero and the DP one point two. Hello, can you hear? I just see that guy, that boy. <laughs> if, you, if you didn't, you cannot hear me. Can you check your your voice or open or not? Can you work? Can you check? Now I'm checked. Can you hear now? Matty, right? Yes, the voice is clear. Can you hear now? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, clear. Okay, okay. So, how to control this? Uh, we can use these buttons or the touch screen here or PC, or Mac software. Also, we can use the protocol, uh, just use the RJ45 or RS232. Yeah, it's, it's just in the software. Uh, so what function it has? Mostly we use three functions. One is mosaic function, and one backup, one switcher. <laughs> For mosaic mode, uh, if we use DVI output, the loading capacity is 2K by 4K by 2K, so you see here, for sending card. You can use the sending card like MCTR 600 and 660. So with this, we can do 8K by 1K and the 4K by 2K pixel to pixels display and the totally have four layers. First layer, and uh, one more, three, two more. Even we can have one more. And this, we can also have one layer to can be same as the layer one of total full screen. Can you get the actual confirmation in French? Okay, also like this. Layer one, two, three, four. And in HDMI output mode, we can do 8K by 2K mosaic because two HDMI, each one supports 2K, 2K by 2K. So totally we can do 8K by 2K. And also we can do pixel to pixel display within this, within this range. And the uh, same as the DVI output. Four layers totally.
So this is how it looks. 8K by 2K. Mosaic. So here you see one big screen for layer one and uh, three more layers on top. Also, we can choose a big, big layer to cover nearly the same as uh, 8K by 2K layer. You can see on the screen. Also, this kind of layers. And in the mosaic mode, we can have layers fade in, fade out. For example, these layers, I want to fade out. And also this layer, I want to fade out. So we can choose first, select this layer and uh, fade out. This one, fade out. It's fade in, fade out effect. Also even this one, big one, also we can choose as a, select this and the fade out, fade in. This is in the fade in, fade out effect. Uh, for these functions, I will introduce how to operate on the processors just after this presentation. And for the mosaic mode, we can also do support the group. For example, uh, group one, we have two layers. And group three, we have three layers. So we can choose one of the group, for example, group two, and uh, make it fade out. So you will just see just two layers on the screen. Just like this. See here, if I use this group as a group two, then I fade out. So it will come like this. Just fade out my layers. And also hope for backup mode. Sometimes, you know, when you have a uh, very important events, you have to make sure everything going safe. So maybe one input signal uh, disconnected suddenly, you can use the backup. It will automatically switch to the LED screen. So to make sure everything is fine. I know otherwise, if you some, sometimes black the screen, maybe get a penalty from the customer. So in this mode, we can also use two media server to do backup. For example, main one, main one, the first piece, the second piece, videos, media. And uh, we have two DP output, one DP to the first piece of W4000 and connect one HDMI, another two HDMI here. We do this mosaic to the screen, two piece mosaic. So DP1 output to the W4001 and the DP2 output to another one. Also media server, we can use the same. So once here disconnected, we use this output. Or here disconnected, using this one, using this, you use backup to still on the screen. So no problem, even one of the inputs or even one of the media servers shut down, this, the event still going on, no problem. Just make sure no input signal loss during the event. Maybe for some small event, it's, it, it's not necessary, but for some bigger important event, it's really nice, really necessary. And even we use these two pieces for mosaic, no problem for the synchronization, no delay. 
Yes, folios available. If you have any questions, you can type. Maybe I'm not uh, explained too much clear. Okay, go on. And this is a switcher mode. When we use HDMI output for switcher, each one you can connect to a 4K LED screen, 4K LED screen. So HDMI 2 works as in the preview here. And HDMI 1 connect to the program. So we can do 4K to 4K switching, one layer to one layer, and also we can do 2K to 2K switching, three layers to three layers. This one we can load presets and the save presets. So after you save, you can just load and then just take very fast. Just need the take switch, take button. Also, we can connect to uh, our Magnimage EXK200 keyboard. So connect to the software. You can also use this as a, here, actually here have a key bar. You can go switching, like also cut or fade in, fade out. Yeah, here is 2K, 2K, video here. Three layers, three layers. And also we can use DVI output as a switching, switcher. So we have DVI 1, DVI 2 as a program, and the DVI 3, DVI 4, sorry, DVI 3, DVI 4 as a preview, 1 and 2 as a program. So also we can do three layers to three layers. Uh, of course, they are 2K. And the save load presets, same as the HDMI output. And also we can use the keyboard, just same as the HDMI output. Why we also have a DVI output, because uh, not all the customers may have 4K sending card. So maybe DVI output sometimes is more suitable for them. Here is the how to set uh, HDMI setting. Like color space, deep color, RGB range, DVI or HDMI mode. Also have a HDR function. And this one, our processor MCU is different from other processors. The more, normally, it's 8 bits. And this one, we have 10 bits. So what's the difference between 8 bits and 10 bits? 8 bits, the grayscale is 256 levels. And 10 bits, we have the 1,024 levels. So you will see here more clear, more clear. See here, different. And they also have a HDR function. Normally, uh, if the brightness is too dark and bright, they together, you can now display four colors with normal processors. Like this one, it's just gray or black or white. But this one with a uh, HDR function, you will see bright and dark color together. So the image looks much 
uh, much brighter and dark together. So how to say that? Um, the brightness and the quality is much richer. Also same, brightness here. No more FDR and some you will see here. Some processor they will reduce the, the phenomenon of the cover dimensions and the gray scale is loose. This one is normal, this is normal, this is full. Also, it has a time function. Uh, for example, it has two 4K by 1K input. So use the time function, you can make two of them combine into one of 8K by 1K or one of 8K by 2K. So when you select the input signal, normally you will have to choose the left part and the right part, but you just combine the title. You just select one button. It will go automatically to two combined. So you no need to choose the left right part, just using the time function. It's very convenient. Also, this tile you can have four, four piece, two K, one K input, make it to eight K by one K, or four K by two K. Yeah, just here, DP one, DP two, same. This is two full HD, make it into one 4K by 1K. And this is two 4K by 1K, make it to 8K by 1K. Also, when we use the output mosaic, um, we can use, for example, the HDMI connect to one screen is bigger. Another one screen size is smaller. Also, we can do this mosaic. We call it a unical, an equal mosaic. Also, have a time fast time task as a same as the seven eighty. Just set up the time, and when the time arrives, it will switch automatically. This is one of the project we did of the 70, uh, W4000. Use multiple mosaic, another project. And except W4000, we also have a W2000 series. What is the difference between W4000 and W4000? You see here, no HDMI output means no 4K output, and the HDMI and the DVI outputs they are same. And loading capacity is 2K, 4K by 2K, 60 hertz. Inputs they are same. Inputs still real 4K. And the one, two, four layers. One to four groups, 4K by 1K, 60 hertz. Here is 4K by 2K, 60 hertz. And the loop, still have loop.
all the function is same as W4 source. Okay, now the presentation is finished. For next presentation is 23, two days later. Now, after five minutes later, I will start to introduce the function of operation of the operation. Just five minutes, please. Have a break. Thank you. Also, you can ask some questions now. Then, after we reply you, we start the operation on the processors. Um, so, anyone have any questions? You can reply first. I was just going to share the activities. Uh, we are showing the video. Uh, we will share on the radio. Uh, sorry, video. And now we are recording. So, we will share the link to you to Facebook or to YouTube. Mail list, what do you mean mail list? What do you mean? Do you have an manager to for farmers? Training do not finish, please let the shop wait. Um, just so we can about the lattice scenes. That's the lattice scenes. For firmwares and applications. Yeah, I'm sure I'm oh, so. oh bro, and I, I can send the details to you later. I know you. Okay,好嗎? The presentation just finished, and uh, just five minutes later, I will share how to operate operation on the processors. So you will know how to do it. The owner functions much better. Wasn't Okay. 
那你又那你这个对的那个屏 ，OK。你是那个 ，input， 不是，听得到吗 ？Can you hear me? Input, OK. Now, input five, we are using a funky input. So, so input six, we are collecting DP. Okay, DP. Let's see next DP. Okay, we can go to EDLE. Pass my input six DP. Okay, let's see next DP. Okay, let's see next DP. Okay, okay. So, okay. 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 Uh, please, please just one minute. Uh, we just adjusting now. Uh, 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 it's Say go to EDID. Input six. Say input source. Okay, right. Input five and input six. Okay, now I'm going to adjust a little more. Input and we customize. Okay, input. <coughs> okay, this is yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
，他可以选是吧？选看这个还是看这个是吧？你先让他看接口嘛。他们把所有的屏幕都关了。<咳> OK， 来，你切到这个，嗯，也不吵吵吗？好，李元昌的这边讲。Hello。金芒牙。金芒牙。什么？金芒牙。你干嘛？金芒牙。Hello。Hello， can you hear now？ Yes， we can hear you。听到吗？ Okay, okay. Now I'm going to introduce the operation. So, if possible, can you turn off all your non non video participants? So you will see the one of the processor here, and the one video is on the screen. Okay. 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 Now I'm going to start. So here, this is the menu. So picture setting, output, input, mosaic, and the load save presets. EDID common. This is for the protocol connect means function and test pattern language. So normally I was uh, introduce how to do mosaic. For example, first we go into output and select here, mosaic. Now we chose actually my output. You can select DVIO HDMI. Now we use HDMI. And the mosaic. Okay, and uh, we need to set up the output resolution. You see here, we can do 4K, 2K, and also customize here. Can you see clear? Yeah, clear, clear. Okay, okay. So here. Uh, this is the standard output. So when you want to customize, so you can do like this. Then go to accept. Now we are using the 4K monitor. And accept. Continue. Then we go to layers. First we can choose this mosaic here. And uh, when we use use the easy config for example you have only one layer or something you can use this output now we have two output so we use this horizontal and the next okay so we can go to layers here size layer one now we have one layer totally on two screens Turn on. And the layer two, you can also turn on. Layer three, turn on. Layer four, turn on. So this is four layers. And the layer two here, you can choose the input signal. And the other one, layer three, another signal. And the layer four, see here. We have four layers. And also we can do fade in, fade out. 
for example, I chose layer four. Now already chose layer four, and do fade out. You will see the fading fade out. Seamless. Also, layer three. You can do fade out or fade in. Same. Even layer one, the big big layer, they can do fade out. Fade in. It's really easy. And also we can load save presets. For example, layer three. Uh, can you see the monitors on the world monitors? Now I have two videos. One is on the processor operation. One is from yes, the yes. yes, I can monitor. see two videos. Okay, okay. So now I have four layers. I can save the set. For example, the set one. Continue and. Uh, Therefore, I fade out, save to another preset. I said two. Okay. And uh, layer three, fade out, save another preset. Now I can load the preset. Load one, two. Four. Ah, this one three. I just didn't didn't save mistake. So another one. No preset. Okay, load two. Load four. Very fast. And the four-tile function. Input. Okay, how? So we have 4K, 2K. But uh, when the 4K, 2K input to the processor, they will be split to left and right. So we need to combine this as one source. If we don't do that like that, we use very difficult. If we use this directly, not use how, we can use layer one, left. Layer two, right. Layer one, sides. Layer two, sides, position. Position is. Nice. <clears throat> so if we don't use tile, it's uh, very difficult. We use need select the uh, input source first, and we need two layers. But if we have tile, we can make the left and right combine it as one source. We can go to input tile. Okay, that's the one.
EP, EPL, and the DPR, and the apply. So these two will be combined as one source. One source. And in this way, it's very easy to use bulky source. We just uh, layer one, connect uh, the whole source, bulky source, tile. Then we can size. Okay, very easy. This will be one complete bulky source. In this way, it's very easy. Instead of using two layers and the other two input source, so we use tile to make it easier for us to apply bulky source. Okay, this is just mosaic function, and the next we are going to the switcher function. Output. We choose the function to HDMI switcher. Okay. So the right one is preview and the left one is program. This is in 4K mode, so we can do layer one to one layer to one layer switching. You see, this is fade in, fade out. Also, we can set up the duration. Okay, fade in, fade out again. Also, we can change the size. For example, change the layer size. Okay, now we go to fade in, fade out. Also here we can change the size again. Now we go to click. The maximum of the input signal can output can be 4K by 2K 60 Hertz. So we can set up the duration time here. Duration time. We can set to cut. Okay. Let's do that again. So we can save this as a uh, preset. For example. Uh, I clear all preset first. Now I save this preset to one. Okay, I click and uh, save another one. Another one, save as two. And uh, make the size again, make full screen. And then we save it's a three. Now I go to take and uh, load one, take and load two, take load three, take. Okay. okay, if you want more layers, we have to change it to 2K output. Now we go to the solution to 2K. Okay, so just one moment.
now if three layers two three layers switch go three layers and they have more layers Also, we can save a preset. For example, six. And we remove some layer. Save to another one. Six, seven, for example. And remove one more. And save as eight. Now we can go to load. Load six. Take. Load seven. Take. Uh, please don't mind the some flick on the preview monitors. Doesn't matter. Just look at the program. Okay. Okay, this is how to uh, switch into this HTML output. Also, we can do the same as the DVI, DVI output. Now we go to the another function, for example, backup. Output. Backup function. So layer one, we choose the input three, and the layer two, we use this EP. Input. Okay, now take. Did you see? If I okay, I can choose the tail function using tail signal. Okay. Now I use this one as a input signal. When we plug out this input signal, it will change to this one. Okay. Now I'll show you how to do it. Now go left to the back. ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่
Okay, this function is finished. And we can also have a logo function. If you want to choose to save any logo from a layer, you can do it here. You can choose any layers. Okay, first we need to uh, shut down the backup mode. It takes some minutes. So after this uh, presentation, I will introduce the how how the 780 works. So the backup function already introduced. Okay, finished. So we can load. Now this size is same as the layer, so maybe you cannot see clear. Just work at this. Okay, after this, I'm going to introduce the 780 now. Just one minute. Come on, 780. How to connect to 780? Okay, I can show you how to do it. First, I introduce the how to do the mosaic and switch on function first. Uh, after that, I will show you how to connect two piece 780. Okay. Okay, now we start. First, it's menu up here. Same, uh, you can do picture setting, output setting, mosaic setting, switch of mode here, and PIP setting, all the settings here. This is the menu. Okay, let me go to the mosaic. First, mosaic, we have different, different uh, capo. For example, one panel, two panel, three panel, four panels. Now, here, we use four panel first, okay? And the manual arrangement. 
you can adjust different different size of lamp. For example, in the LED screens, you have four panels, but different panels have different resolution, so you can choose here. Each one, you have the width, width and the height, and the edge start, we start to make four panels as one mosaic. Also, if you four panels in the same resolution, so we can use the auto arrangement, uh, vertical, horizontal, two two crossing. Now our monitor is two by two crossing, so we choose this one. Also, we can use quick mosaic. Quick mosaic means the first panel you can set up the white height, for example. Then we go to, and here also I change something. The solution. Let me go to the apply. So you see, it the the solution is different now. If the output on the resolution is the same, so we can go back, make it same. And here also you can change the input signal. Let me go to calculate and apply. Okay, this is the direction. Okay, uh, just now I forget to choose the arrangement. Okay, now four panels. For panels, we just need to change the size one or of them to the same signal. So, it's it. For example, I close one lamp, one by one. Now, first, I choose this one. Second, I turn on, choose. Turn on, choose same signal. Fourth, now, four piece music. And the arrangement. It's very easy. And also two panels. Uh, in four panels, we cannot add more layers, more PIPs. This is the different from the W4000. And uh, in three panel, we can have more one more layers in the middle panel. See? The in the second one. If we use if we use two panel mode, so we can have one more layers on each panel, and then the side the the input can be changed. Also, we can change the size here, layer size. For example. IP3. So we can use fast input find the keys. For example, uh, six nine sixty. Okay. Also, uh, we start more hit. Even the uh, Position of horizontal start and the vertical start, we can also use the fast input by the keys. Or we can use the full screen. And again, we can do it. Okay, this is two panel and the one panel mode. We can have four layers totally. Um, for output, they are same. Also, the size of each layers can be changed. For example, this one. 
you see here on the screen. Okay, each of them can be changed. And the four layers, actually we can change different input. For example, layer one, you see here, we change input, layer two, and we can change another input. Therefore, layer three, we can also change this. Layer three. Now we just go to changing the sides. Hello, hello. Hello, please wait. We will come in. We come in now. Wait a minute. Hello, hello. Just disconnected. Hello. Can you hear? Yes, we can see and we can yes. see yes. the video. Okay, okay. Just now it disconnected due to the bad connection. Can you hear, can you see the screen now? Yes, we can see yes, the screen. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, we can see oh. now. Yes, we can see. Okay, okay. So okay. Just now I introduced the one panel mode. Did you see now? Or just disconnected? One mm. one panel switching. 
Okay, okay. So I use the switch mode again. Okay, one panel. You can do two layers to two layers switching. So now we are two two layers to two layers switching, okay. Also we can save preset. Another one. Okay, now I remove the layer. Okay, save another one. So now I can load in the preset. First take. This is fading in, fade out under three seconds. So I load one. Load three. Okay, take. too slow maybe just now I change the time okay load again load to set one take and load two take and load three take okay this is the uh, one panel switch mode for two panel. Just one minute. Okay, DP input. We have DP input, so we can do left and right. And uh, this one, DP, left. You see, And also we can take the two preview into one. Just go to the image club and set up the size. Just half of the left and another half of the right input signal. See the preview now is in mosaic mode. If the input signal is DP, like 4K by 1K, so we can use the DP left, right. But now we are just using the 2K input, so we have to use the image club of the right part and left part.
So now we can do 4K to 4K 3G, 4K by 1K. Uh, just now, the friend asked me how to do two piece for mosaic. Okay. Now I show you how to do two piece mosaic. Just just one minute. Uh, set up. Okay, now I use this to show you how to connect. We use the loop how to do the mosaic. Okay, just one minute. Yeah. Now we use this DP input to the first piece. Here, input. This is a loop. The loop out go to the here to this input source. Loop source. I need to set up the input signal here. Okay, this DP now loop in the first input signal here. And if you have another monitors, four monitors, you can use this to choose on the DP. DP, four panel DP, and then totally eight monitors using the same same input signal from here. Is that is that guy here? Hello? Yes, sir, we can hear you. Uh, just just now one guy asked me how to do two piece of 780 mosaic. I just explained if he is here yes, now. Yes. Okay, okay, so First clear loop. now? Yeah, by loop, by loop. Clear? Yes, sir, continue, sir. Okay, okay. So now today my presentation is it's over. If you have any questions, you can ask now. Yeah, can you uh, can you show me once again how to uh, have one output in all the four monitors? One or okay. It just do slowly. Okay, okay. Slow, slow. Okay. Now. I go to first, go to the mosaic mode, then need to turn off the switcher mode, right? Yeah. Okay, mosaic setting, four panel. So, main, I choose the DVI, and uh, all of them choose the same input signal, it's okay. See, clear? All of the layers chosen the same input signal. So, four, 
four. Okay, okay. So it's like it's like layer layer one, then input one, layer two, input one. It's like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the inputs, one, two, three, four, chosen the same input signal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. As you see here, we have uh, the thirteen here. Auto. If okay. your screen is vertical, horizontal, or two by two crossing, you need to choose. Or even quick mosaic. If your screen is not standard resolution, maybe different from different one, so you can choose each one here. Okay. One, two, three, four, four panels. Can you see clear? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can see, I can see. Okay. I can, I can it do, I can it do odd resolutions? Like if it is uh, LED screen, yes, within two K you can customize. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I show you like, how to customize output resolution. Output resolution, right? Yeah, you can customize. This is standard. Customize. Can I? Uh, example, can I? Can I? Uh, can I make the resolution to like 3000 by 400? 40. 3000 no. by 400. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's an odd uh, resolution. Odd. Okay. This is the maximum. Oh, sorry, the minimum. But we can change the windows size again. Okay. Here. Then apply. To all ports. But this monitor cannot accept this resolution, so it turns black. Achha, okay, okay. This is full, full HD only, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is full and, HD. Uh, oh, okay. Then maybe this one is uh, still a little different from your uh, different your left screen, so we can change it here. Okay. okay. Or we can just type here. Okay. Okay. So the W W four thousand can do this resolution, like three uh three thousand cross four hundred. One output cannot. But it's actually my no problem. Uh, W four thousand one output cannot do. You mean DVI? Yeah. Oh, uh, let me check now how much. It because see, it's uh, I I can tell you I can tell you one three thousand to four hundred is uh, twelve million. Okay, let me see how how much maximum. Okay. DVI mode. Check mode. The uh, maximum is 2,048. Okay. Okay. Okay, just now I can explain 550 DS. I have sent my resolution in the um, in the message. Message, okay.
2k into 1k. Sir, we are not able to hear you. Hello? Hello, hello? Can you hear now? Yes, we can hear yes, you yes, now, yes. clearly. Okay, okay, sorry, just a mistake. So now, we use this one. If we have, for example, we, we have two piece 550 DS. The first one, input here, and we use the loop to the second one, input. And the three piece, you can use the second loop to the third one, and the, the same as four piece, five piece, six piece for mosaic. And here is the sending card. And if you have two piece, the first uh, output the solution. So can you reduce the brightness of your LCD? Uh, brightness cannot be reduced. Maybe. So I think if you if you reduce reduce the brightness, it will be able to see it. Okay. Uh, okay. It's, okay. It's it's a basic model. The brightness cannot be reduced. Italian. Okay, okay, okay. Italian. Do you come to? Can you see now? Uh, no, we are can not able to see, now. but but you can. But you can tell us. But you can tell us. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, fine. No problem. Just just tell us the loop function. How to do it? Okay, I can write, I can draw the picture how to 
सकार John, uh, photo, photo. How to show how to connect? For example, two piece. Give you a look. So can you see now? So see it's clear now. If we have two pieces for mosaic, the first piece is set in the resolution as this. Width, height, and the window is also the same. For the second, the window set up like this. And the <laughs> So the total widths can be 3,200. And the first start zero, and the second uh, resolution start is the zero. Start at the 1920. <laughs> Hello, it's clear now how to set up the parameters. Yeah, and if I if I want to loop another one, then the same. If if three piece, then the started should be the plus. The started position should be 
3,000, it's two part. Oh no, not 3,000. 3,003, three, right? 3,200. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 2,000. 200, 3,200. Yeah. Three piece, the, the edge start should be 3,200. And the vertical start is zero. If it's only horizontal start, for example, like this. Here yeah, is 3,200, right? For example, this one is. So, this one per meter, should, uh, the edge should be horizontal, and the vertical resolution should be uh, just image. It's same, okay? And the start, edge start. Should be 3200 and the vertical start should be zero. Then three piece will be mosaic again. Just loop the second piece, give a loop to the third piece. Okay, it's clear. Hello, yeah, it's clear. It's clear. Okay, okay, just set up like the second piece. Or even you have four piece, just 3,200 plus, 3, plus this as the edge start. So this will, so this will make uh, one, one big screen, one big image. Yes, yes. Yes, total screen is 5,012. 5, yes, correct. You just divide this resolution by three pieces here. One part, two part, three panels. Correct. Okay. Any more question? Okay. Hello? Any more question? If not, uh, I will introduce the F4 and play a video for you. So you will know how to control it. Okay. Just a word, please. I tried, I tried to make it clear, but it seems not. This LCD display may be not good enough. Yes. Like this, can you see? It? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Come, please. Please, please help handle this. Okay, now I show you how to set up the parameters again. Right here. Okay? <clears throat> okay. First, the uh, window, the first one, window size, according to the actual sending card size. 
also the second one. Then go to mosaic. H total mosaic on H total the first and the second processor total wise. V total is an exercise. Wise wise means it's the <coughs> actual size of this processor. H star zero, V star zero. And for the second one, H total same, V total same. Why is the second uh, processor actual wise? Height, actual height. H star, H star should be the first uh, processor wise and V star zero. Okay. And for the second one, you just, um, second piece, you just set up the edge start at the first values. And then the third piece, the edge start should be in the values of first and the two p second piece total. And the vertical start should be zero if it's horizontal mosaic. Okay. Hello, clear? Okay, 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 clear. Okay, okay. Show the how to act, set up the W4000 outputs. How is the screen? control a step for the F4, MIG F4, okay? And the first part, you should make sure the connecting here on the software this here connection schedule, the lights, keep it and then choose the right com here and connect. When the connecting is okay, the right will turn green. And now I will tell you how to uh, know this. And the first manner here. So you can use the quick setting to set the outputs quickly for example the two by two or four by one or one by four now it's four by one for example okay and two by two now okay and if you need to set every output one by one you should go into the manual output for example the dy1 and choose the resolution for it or just customize the res resolution and change it. For example, one and ninety twenty. And here the frequency you can choose fifty or sixty and apply. Apply to all or apply to one. Okay, for example, one. And then okay, the first one is okay and you you can go into the second one, the DY2, just the same way to set. Okay, for example, every one is set. Okay, and you can have four output here, right? And you can change the position one by one. Just put it on the right position. For example, it's two by two here and it's okay and then go into the layer setting here and pull the layer and double key okay it's okay get the wrong position here change okay and then the ray setting. Oh, so it's okay now. And just now we, we tap the layer. You can have layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four. And here's the four layer to a mosaic. And you can also four layer independent. Okay, layer one, layer two here, layer three, and four. But just Pay attention to this. You can uh, you can use just only one input at the same time. So at this time you uh, it's just like a splitter, okay. 
and the next menu picture you can change every layers brightness contrast gamma and the red green blue here and the edid every input for the f4 is uh a 4K by 2K 60 Hz and um, for my computer it's only support the 30 Hz 4K by 2K so if your computer is okay just change the okay here's the EDID and the crop just the same as the processor so it's very quite simple and the presets if everything is setting okay just uh, going to the press preset here and choose the preset one and save and yes okay it's the save okay and then if you want to use it the preset one load and yes mm -hmm. and the next menu here is for the input and output if they use the same frequency and choose this one if the input and output frequency is not the same, you choose this one. Uh, and the last menu here, here to change the language, and here to update this machine, and factory reset, and get the data from the machine. Okay, it's quite easy. And the important part is here, Wi-Fi configuration, and you know that the this machine can control by the cell phone uh, app on the cell phone and you should set the machine's ip here and the wi-fi name here and the wi-fi password here and apply okay and the last part here input signal backup on and off on when you're on if the input now is missing and another one will be back up for this then you close it and the function is missing okay that's all Hello? Yes? Hello. 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 Can you Hello, hello, can you hear? Hello? Yeah, hearing, hearing. But did you what? Yes, Bob, hearing. Okay, okay. So just now you want to know the how to connect. How to connect. How to connect? Just kind of cables. Okay, okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. 
screen. The video is off. Uh, just one minute. Just one minute, please. Just one minute, one minute, please. Uh, just a minute, please. Yeah, get oh, into uh, the four thousand. This one just a demo, not Hello, Bob. Maybe some function problem. Yes. Hello. Can I have this PPT later? Can I send this PPT to me later? Uh, we talk separately. It's okay. Wait. Okay. 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 Is there any other questions so we can reply first now? Maybe it takes several minutes. Hello, anybody, if, if you have any other questions, so we can talk now first, because it takes several minutes to get in the W4000. You can type to me, please. Look at no real mask. <laughs> Hello.
So you see the connection now. Uh, just focus. First, first, uh, first of all, you want to know the customized inputs and the output resolution. Okay. So, input resolution and output. Input resolution. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Input. We have many groups, six groups, but uh, for one group, we can use only one source. Now I collect uh, source okay. DP, so I use DP, okay? So you see the DP source, channel six, was bright. That means source already exists. And you can see this yellow means there is the input collected. Okay, so we have DP source. And uh, <coughs> you know, the channel five and the channel six are multi inputs. So we can EDID to make it okay. Go to EDID, channel six. Go to DP. This is the DP. We can change it to other resolution. For example, like this. Also, okay, except and uh, okay. So now the input source, yes, is all customized the input. And the output, because we are using HDMI, we want 4K HDMI output. So output will choose HDMI mode. HDMI mode resolution. We have many fixed output resolution available. Customized. We customize to, for example, customize to same one. Okay, the output resolution is this. Same with the input resolution. Two screens. Output resolution. Input resolution keep the same. So in this way, we can achieve 40 pixel to pixel display. <laughs> Do you have any other questions, guys? And uh, HDMI mode, you know, we have two HDMI outputs. That means we can make two 4K outputs mosaic. We can, for example, layer one. This is my output. And I can make a layer, put it for on the 8K output okay. change the layer size position the output area is 8k by 2k the input we can use two 4k input now 4k input in this output a lot of 4K input in this output. And if we use computers that has, if we have computers that can output two 4K source to the processor, we can do 8K by 2K pixel to pixel. If we use only one input, we can. Uh, if, if you use, use only one, one input. Uh, yes, yeah. only one input, we can go to window. See, 
we can use only one window, only HTML1. We here, HTML1, only HTML1. And the layer, layer size, you see? The layer size you can change according to the output. Now input, input source is this, forking input is this. And then layer, same size with this one. So this this one is if we use only one 4K output, if the screen is this, we make the input input resolution same with the screen, output resolution same with screen. In this way, we achieve the best uh, picture quality. If the computer is 8K, if the screen is 8K, we can go to output. We go to window. We can open the second output. Two 4K outputs. And in this way, we need, because we, if we use only one input, in this way, the the picture will be uh, stretched and a lot pixel to pixel. But uh, if we have computers that support two four K at the same time, and then the two four K output can be mosaic on a computer graphic setting, and we can use two four K out outputs, two four K inputs. In this way, we can do like this four K input one a lot of layer, 4K input two. This way we can do 8K by 2K uh, pixel to pixel display. Okay. Hello, so is this clear? Have any more questions? Hello, everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay. You're welcome. Thank you all of you. Yes, we can use software to do the same setting. Okay, Tino. You are very interesting. 
Genlock is for the input source. If your input, for example, your input from a video box from computers, if the video box or computers has Genlock, and you can connect it to our processor. It's not for processor cascade, it's just for input. For synchronization, you know, synchronization. Oh, <laughs> 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 Hello. Hello. Can I can I ask one question? Yes. Um, I want to share my screen. So can I share my screen? Share screen. Share. I want to share my screen. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Okay. Share my screen. Uh, you are. Hello. 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 Can Hello? you can you see my yes, screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just a minute. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so the so this is uh, this is uh, this is a, an example. Uh, this is my computer screen. Okay, and uh, yeah. and uh, I am using uh, uh, this 550D. Okay, so using yes. three quantity. Okay, just yes. Just take it as take it as the same example. Same example as uh, this is the, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, this over here, the resolution is 1920 by 1080, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm just uh, like referring the same example, the same example which we discussed earlier, okay? We discussed this. Okay, okay, okay. yes, okay. Okay. yes, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I just, I, 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 Okay, okay, so this is nine. Okay, so, there are okay, three so you want okay? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, just just listen to my question. Okay, so okay, so as so as you explained, as we do, I want I want this my full image in this is a LED screen. One, two, three parts, one LED screen. Okay, but uh, as uh, like you explained, if I loop the three, uh, I will get this result. I will get this result. Okay, uh, why? Because uh, see insert here here I'm I'm inserting the resolution as 1920. Uh, sorry, uh, here it would be my my edge would be zero. Okay. <coughs> you mean the mosaic parameter? Yeah. Yeah. You mosaic mean the mosaic? Yes. Yes. In the yeah. mosaic. Yeah. H, H start. H start should be zero. The okay, second here, one H be... start is uh, yes, yes, correct. Yeah. The third but, one. But if you do like this, so 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 the so the result of the image would would be like my screen too. Yeah, your third screen is the three three thousand two hundred. The H start. Yeah. yeah. 
but yes. but 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 I'm saying I I would be getting like this. Uh, I want the screen like this. I would be getting like this if if I do. <coughs> but right? uh, you need to the h the h total. You know, h total should be uh, the three screen total size. Okay, you mean you mean to say is you mean to say is that uh, yes yes uh, the first um, one and the second one and the third one the total the whole screen whole screen wise. Okay, so Not, uh, so so the so the total would be I think so it would be five. How much is it? Uh, one minute, let me calculate. Ninety twenty in magic. Yes, right. Yeah. Two plus one eighty. Five one two zero. This calculator. Zero plus one zero eight zero. Okay, it would be it would be like this. The total. Yes. So yes, I would yes. be. So I I would be I would be I would be uh, setting setting this in total. my in my first. 550D? No, all the three pieces of 550, the H total is the same. H total is all the same for the three pieces of 550. Uh, can you uh, can you tell me like like what would be the setting? What will be setting the uh, what will be the output settings? <coughs> if I want okay. to get this image. Okay. Okay. For um, we have two steps. We need to set output window. The first one output window should be 1920 by 1080, right? Output okay. window, you know how to how to set. The second one is uh, 1280 by 1080. The third one is 1920 by 1080. Output okay. window according to its actual screen size, right? This is uh, uh, output window. The second one is about a mosaic. The first uh, processor mosaic should be on. H total should be uh, five thousand uh, yeah yeah by 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 ten eighty right. And the okay. first uh, H H size V size also the actual size is actual size. H start should be zero. V start should be zero for the first uh, five fifty processor. The second. Uh, 550 mosaic should be on. H total should be uh, 5000 by 10, 10 by 1080, and the uh, H size V size is actually 5120 by 1080. Yes, and the uh, H start for the second uh, 550 should be 1920. V start is zero. Okay, and the the third one, H total is the same with the the other two piece, and the uh, each window, uh, each size, V size, also like 20 by 1080. But each start should be 3,200. This start is zero. You understand? Okay. You know, you uh, know where to change the window. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me show okay. You processor. Okay. Processor. Let me show you. <coughs> processor. Yes. Then this is the processor. The first. Uh, oh. The first step is about output window. Output window. Output window should be the actual size of this 550 screen. You know, if this screen oh, is. Oh, uh, For example, like 20 by 1080, yes. then you change uh, the video. It to 20 by 1080. The, the video is not clear. The, the video is display, not clear. Display not clear. This is output a window. The display is not clear. This is a window. Get down the camera. Uh, we we are not able to see the screen. Hello, here is yeah, yeah. the window. Output okay. the window, right? Set okay. output the window, same size with its uh, screen. This is output the window. The first one, output the window should Slightly be 1920 by 1080, right? The second one should be uh, 1280 by 1080, right? 
the third one should be 920 by 1080, right? Set in the output window independently, okay? There's no relations of uh, different processor. You know, all of the window, you know how to set? Just according to the actual size it takes. And uh, after the, the three processor output window set, we go to Mosaic. Mosaic. The first uh, processor, Mosaic on, H total should be, okay, maybe I just said uh, 5,000, okay. I don't know the accurate number, 5,000. V total should be 1080. Ten eighty. Why? Why should be nineteen twenty, right? The first, the first one. This is the first one. Height is this. Okay. And then the first one, a star should be zero. V star also zero. Okay. The first one is finished. Then we go to the second one. Also mosaic on each total five thousand. V total ten eighty. Why should be Okay, actual size of screen. The second one, with height. Okay, H dot, the second one, H dot should be the first one wise. So we make it this, okay? So the second one is finished. Then we go to the third one. The third one also mosaic on H total, V total, like this wise should be actual size of the third processor. Hide this. H start, H start should be the first the two processor per total wise. 920 by 1080 and uh, the second one, 1280. So the H start should be like this, okay? You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need two steps for each F50. The first step, we just to make sure the output window is the same size of its uh, sending cards. This is output window, just according to its actual screen it takes. The second step is mosaic on. Mosaic is total. It total means all the three pieces of uh, total wise and V, v total. So H total and V total, all the three pieces of 550 is the same. H uh, wise and height, same like the output window, just the same as its sending card size, right? Same with the output window. And H start, the first processor H start is zero. The second processor H start should be the first processor wise. The third processor H start should be the first processor and the second processor, the total wise, should be the third one's H start. You understand? Am I clear? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you're very clever. <laughs> <laughs> so actually you can practice. You can practice by using two pieces of 550. And you can prepare two pieces of uh, LCD. Try it yourself, okay?
哎，周工，周工，啊，周工，问题啊，小米 ，Hello， so if there are not any more question， 呃、uh, ，I stop， stop the， stop now。Thank you. Thank you all of you joining us.